We are behind Whitefish Township Community School. It's our only school we have. We have grades uh, K through 12 here, and we are in front of our greenhouse that we just re resurrected last year. It's been here since about 2010, and last year we lost it with the amount of snow, but we have rebuilt it and we're starting to include it into our curriculum. As far as lessons, in addition to the crop planning series that really gave the kids the tools to decide when they need to be planting certain things to get expected harvest, um, and also the tools to decide like, you know, we had to say no to pineapples and yes to spinach just because of our climate. So it was about the understanding climate, understanding some of the technologies like the season extension, the hoop houses, what a frost blanket or different sorts of mulches. Any sort of hands-on activity where you can kind of put it in the students' hands and let them have a little bit of control with it is going to allow them to learn better because they're not just doing it for school purposes, they're investing their own time, their own energy, and they're actually seeing the fruits of their labor. So that's always great. Basically, I like being there and getting to be, able, be able to get to plant plants and we get to feed the school. And it's just, I like hands-on stuff more. My responsibilities is um, watering the plants. Uh, we harvest, how to harvest them, how to transplant them, how to plant them themselves. And just, and then the deeper stuff, like how the plants work how the soil helps with the plants, how the plants help each other. I just like the, the, the project, as I've said over and over, it's, it's one of those, it's an out of the book lesson that I think every, every student, every person should have a, a grasp and understanding of what goes on in a greenhouse and how it can actually assist you in the long run. Like I said earlier, we're gonna be using some of these uh, vegetables that we're growing in here for our lunches. Last week's lettuce was really good, so <laughs> I'm hoping for more. We're not just talking about gardening, we're talking about the geology of this place and the earth sciences. So it's really kind of a window to give them a hands-on experience that they can connect to like all of those bigger picture ideas. This is something that any school district could do. Um, you just need the, motiva the motivated um, personnel to do it, set it up and run it and get the kids on board and get them motivated too, which really isn't that hard because once they get out there and doing it and they see the progress that they're making, the plants and stuff that they grow, and the vegetables and great food that they produce, it's, it's not very hard. Then they, they pretty much just rush out here and they love to do it. Since we started, like we've just started, we only had a couple plants in the lunchroom, but those plants taste a lot better. It, it just feels healthier. It's good knowing that you're feeding the school too, that you get to be a part of that. No, those are good. These are good. They're perfect. Carrots. I absolutely hated carrots. And then since we're going out in the greenhouse, so once we harvest those one time, I tried it and I just loved it. It's, it's really sugary. Just, I, I like them now.